Hello and welcome to a brief slide presentation today brought to you by Coffee Shop Startups. Now today we're going to be talking about low cost ideas for starting a coffee business with very little money. Now, if you've been thinking about starting a coffee shop, but the question of money is just a big wet blanket on your dreams, then this brief presentation is for you. First, to be sure, it's going to take money to start a coffee business. Starting any business takes money. Heck, even going out to a fancy lunch can cost you a pretty penny these days. But a profitable coffee business doesn't have to cost you as much as you think it does. And that's what we're here to talk about with you today. So how do you start a coffee business with less money? Well, ultimately, it's about thinking outside the box. A traditional coffee shop can cost you about $300,000. Mostly, this is due to real estate costs, your build out, which is really typically expensive as you have to hire contractors and designers um, and uh, get permits for that. And of course, the material and labor that's associated with the build out. Uh, your coffee equipment, it all adds up. Now, that of course is on the higher end. A coffee shop, however, can be opened in a less expensive setting. So don't let those numbers scare you. Now, if that kind of money is not realistically within your reach, there are other ways to open up your own successful and profitable coffee business. But how? It's really about thinking outside the traditional box and keeping it simple. A coffee business is really about brewing coffee, serving it and getting paid. Now, there might be a few things that you'll want to add to that, of course, but really that's ultimately it. Let's not complicate things. The more we focus on keeping it simple, keeping it small, the more obtainable a coffee shop business can be. All right, so let's talk about the benefits of starting a small coffee business and thinking outside the box. Thinking outside the box allows us to realize our coffee business dreams without the constraints of what we think is a coffee shop. This allows us to start where we're at, even if you don't have any experience or you're lacking a little money, right? The benefits include lower financial barriers to entry, lower startup costs, lower risks, and still maintaining the potential for profits. All of this, of course, gives you the opportunity to learn as you grow. All right, so let's talk about a few of the strategies. Strategy one, having a plan. You gotta have a plan. It seems a little obvious to state this, but it can't be overstated. You just gotta have a plan. Once you decide on your concept, you're gonna start developing out your plan. This includes everything from your budget, your menu, your location, your branding, whatever it is, decide on it and then follow through with creating a plan. Let's take a look at strategy two, reduce your rental costs. This is by far the most financially impactful decision you can make when it comes to starting a low cost coffee business. Reducing your rental costs and your build out costs that is the cost associated with building out your bar, your floor, your walls, your plumbing, your lighting, your bathroom, etc. You're going to reduce a majority of your expenses. How do you do that? How do you limit your rental costs? Well, you can partner with an existing business and utilize their space. We'll be talking to you about that in a second. You can start a mobile coffee business, an espresso catering business, an online coffee business. All of these eliminate the need for physical space and the costs that come with it. All right, strategy number three, simplify your menu. Keep it simple and go light. A simplified and clean menu will do two important things. Number one, it's gonna reduce your startup costs. Number two, it's gonna reduce your ongoing or what we consider operational costs. Your menu will require equipment, displays, inventory, ingredients, and perhaps even more employees. Additionally, equipment requires a lot of space for storage, power requirements, and upfront money. Additionally, ongoing maintenance and utilities all add up as well. Keep it simple and choose your equipment wisely. 
All right, so now let's look at a few ideas. Idea number one, piggyback on an existing business. Preferably, you're gonna wanna piggyback with a business who has extra space and who already has an established customer base. Some examples might include a used bookstore, independent art gallery, a record shop, newspaper stand, a flower shop, hair salon, laundromat, shared workspace, independent boutiques. These are all great examples. Creating a symbiotic relationship will hopefully lower the cost for everyone. It also hopefully increase the quality of service, generate greater customer experience and added value. All right, idea number two, sell coffee at farmer's markets. Now, farmer's markets are a very popular option for local roasters, so many will have already tried to enter this market. But your local farmer's market or similar not-for-profit markets can be a great place to sell coffee, especially if there isn't anyone selling coffee there yet. Now, if you roast your own beans, you'll have a great place to build your brand and make connections with local customers. Now, if you don't roast your own beans, that's okay too. You can always curate local coffee beans and sell them at these markets. You might be able to offer cold brew as well. And hey, why not add other local products made from coffee like soaps and bombs, etc. Idea number three, start an online coffee business. Starting an online coffee business is one of the least expensive options you have when entering into the retail coffee market. Idea number four, starting a mobile coffee business. Now I love the idea of mobile coffee trucks and coffee trailers. I grew up with food trucks and I know this, they're versatile. Now they can massively reduce your real estate costs and your startup costs and even your ongoing operational costs, which is what you want to do if you want to start a low cost business. Now they aren't cheap, they can go up to seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars and up, depending on how many bells and whistles you want. But for the most part, you can start an excellent low-cost coffee business with a mobile coffee truck. Idea number five: start a drive-through coffee stand. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, you're certainly used to this concept. Drive-through coffee stands in the right location with the right branding and products can be enormously profitable. It takes real planning and research, though but it can be done, often for quite less money than a traditional coffee shop. Idea number six, espresso catering business. An espresso catering business can be profitable, fun, and a perfect entryway into retail coffee. It can also be pretty affordable. What you're gonna need is a small espresso machine that you can set up in a portable way. You're also gonna need a vehicle which you can transport things like your espresso machine your grinders, water, coffee, cups, milk, all that good stuff. An espresso catering business is a great way to get into the coffee business and build up your experience, your brand, and your customer base. And if you want to start even smaller, you really don't need an espresso machine. You can manually brew all of your coffee that you are serving. All right, so let's talk about raising funds. Your coffee shop funding mix. Nearly every business has a funding mix, unless of course you can write yourself one check and pay for everything. The truth is that businesses big and small have a funding mix. We offer a more detailed look at your funding options in our blog over at Coffee Shop Startups. All right, the big question, is it profitable? The answer is yes. The profit to cost ratio can be pretty impressive with all of these businesses I just mentioned. Now let's be clear, your profitability really depends on a number of important factors. They include your location, your customer base, menu and pricing, volume and sales, and ultimately, this depends on how active you are. If you're catering once a month, you're not gonna be as profitable if you're catering twice a week. All right, let's just quickly summarize everything. To start a low-cost coffee business, you're gonna to wanna to think outside the traditional box. You're gonna always wanna look for filling a need in your community, and you're going to wanna to reduce your need for renting space. Remember, you can sell at indie boutiques, you can sell at farmer's markets, you can start a coffee truck or a coffee trailer, start an online coffee business, open up a drive-through coffee stand, 
piggyback on an existing business, or start an espresso catering business. All of these are great options to start a low cost coffee business. You can do it. For more information, check us out at coffeeshopstartups.com.